Hello guys, Neha this side. Uh, today I'll be talking about another important aspect related to trading psychology and risk management which is trades per trading cycle. This concept is the continuation of my previous topic where I explained about trading cycle and the importance of that. If you haven't seen that, I would suggest you to first go, go through the previous video which will just take few minutes of your time and then continue with this video to have deeper insights. As explained previously, trading cycle is nothing but the time period a trader takes to meet its targets. And most importantly, one should always be consistent with their trading cycle. So now moving forward, it's also important for a trader to understand that it's necessary to keep a track on the number of trades we take in their trading cycle. Most of the immature traders do not give much consideration on this aspect of trading. They keep taking trades as and when they feel like. In fact, most of them think the more they trade, the more profits they can make in the market, which is basically called over trading. But it's completely wrong. The more you trade randomly in the market, the more amount you are risking in the market and so your chances of losing money increases. I'm not, I'm not saying that as a trader you should be taking only one or two trades in a month which is again the opposite of over trading which is under trading. All I'm trying to say that you should trade as per your setup and whenever your trading system indicates you to trade. As we have spoken about these two concepts like over trading and under trading. So over trading is nothing, it is out of greed. Out of greed to make uh, as much money as you can in the market. Where traders think that the more they trade, the more amount of money will they will make. But they don't see the other side which is not that brighter side. Wherein the more they trade, the more they are exposing themselves to the risk in the market. And under trading is due to fear where most of the traders are scared to enter in the market itself or if they enter in the market they just see little profits and they, then they just want to book the profits and come out why that is all because of fear so dealing with these two situations which are bad for traders it's again related to all the psychological aspects so the best thing is to have a control over your trades in fact, number of trades depend a lot on your trading style, which means if you are an intraday trader, then definitely your number of trades would be higher. But if you are a swing trader, your number of trades will be comparatively lesser. But it should not be like, apart from your trading style, you are just not realizing how much uh, randomly you uh, trade because maybe you are bored or maybe you have nothing else to do or maybe you are so obsessed with trading that everywhere you see so many opportunities and you want to uh, make money out of every opportunity and which leads to too many trades and too many bad decisions in the market. So I'll explain that by taking a small example. Let's assume that as a trader, your trading cycle is weekly and being a swing trader, you decided to take five trades in a week, which does not mean that you have to take one trade every day, which simply means you take five best setups. When you see all the rules are matching with your setup, then you uh, trade it. So it does not mean that if it's just five trades, you take one trade every day and you will be done for the week. It's not like that. When you decide five trades in a week, it basically means five best setups and which you can also figure out by funneling down uh, and seeing which has a better risk to reward or uh, the best way to funnel down I personally feel is risk to reward. And but other traders might have other criteria to funnel down. Whatever the reason is, all I'm saying you should know how many number of trades you would be taking in a number of, uh, I mean, in a given period of time, so that this will avoid you to give more preference over quality than quantity. Look, it does not matter you make five percent in a month by taking one or two trades or you make 5% in a month by taking 10 trades, 20 trades, 50 trades. Ultimately, it all boils down to how much amount of money you are making. But again, if you are taking 50 trades to make that or maybe 
10 trades to make 5% or something like that, then you are exposing yourself to a lot of risk, which is uh, the risk factor part of it, and I'll come to that. So, another advantage of deciding the number of trades as per your trading cycle, as I said, is the risk factor. If you have to take 5 trades in a week, you know your overall portfolio risk will be max 10%. When if you are a swing trader, right? As we have already spoken about in our previous videos about this 2% risk, so I'll not maintain, uh, I mean, I'll not speak about it again, why it's important and why 2% and everything. Uh, it just means that if you are taking 5 trades in a week and you maintain 2% risk, you know your overall portfolio risk is just 10%. Which simply means if you have a bad week, you would end up losing maximum 10%, right? But in case of, let's say you haven't planned it at all, let's say instead of 5 trades, you take 15 trades in a week, then your overall risk instead of 10% is 30%, which is a lot. Considering the worst case scenario, if you had a bad week, you're with a losing streak and you lose in almost all the trades, then your portfolio will be down by 30% and which will give you a huge setback in your account and you will get into that recovery mode or tension mode or maybe panic mode. So it's very important to plan your number of trades and randomly trading whenever you feel like, right? I completely understand uh, the difference between the swing trading and intraday trading. Swing trading, you can keep five trades in a week. Uh, but intraday trading, it might be 5 trades in a day. So there's no denial that you should not take those 5 trades in a day. All I'm saying, then don't risk 2%. Risk maybe 1% or lesser so that overall risk is defined. And you know if you have a bad day or a bad week, you bet how much you will be down by. And that could only be calculated when your number of trades are defined. I'm not saying be very rigid on it. If you are seeing opportunity, you should see uh, trade in the market, but have a figure, at least average number that every day as an intraday trader, I should take around four to five trades. That can exceed till six, but it should not be in a day you are taking 20 trades, 30 trades because the market is so tempting and uh, there are so many opportunities and especially being a technical analysis trader you keep seeing charts you keep seeing so much volatility in market and if you're trading in forex it's a 24 hour market so people get tempted and they think that okay let, let me take here as well let me trade here as well intention is nothing but to make money but we need to understand the other side of it also, the more number of trades you take, if you take 3 trades with 2% risk, the overall risk is just 6%. You are, you are exposed to 6% of your portfolio. But instead of 3 trades, you take 10 trades, then 10 into 2. It means 20%. Your risk exposure becomes very high and your entire portfolio, 20% of your portfolio is at risk. Some people who do not understand about risk, they don't put stop loss uh, and all. What we have spoken in the previous video, they have the 100% risk. Then it does not matter or for those people, it's not uh, important for me to explain also that uh, you should have a specified number of trades because with one trade also they are risking 100% by putting not putting the stop loss. So that is completely different scenario again. Uh, so all I would want to uh, say that have a defined number of plan and a system so that you have uh, you know how what you are doing you know when you are taking a setup what you need to do and especially when you have uh, defined your trades number of trades you would always choose quality over quantity which means you would always go with the best possible setup you would not just randomly choose anything when you know you can just take five trades in a week you would wait for you will patiently wait for the setup and you would look for something one is to three one is to four one is to five or whatever so you would this uh, whole idea will help you to grow as a trader will help you to uh, make more money a better risk to reward in that sense so as a trader uh, 
we always i've realized we have i've seen as a trainer i come across so many experiences from uh, i see i mean they keep their, sharing their experiences what i've realized that after training so many people everyone just keep running behind making profits but first we need to understand not to lose money or first we need to learn not to lose money so basically i would say you should first learn to minimize risk as much as you can and then you should look to maximize profits that's an ideal way of making money in the market i hope this session was helpful for you guys and believe me if you follow this as a part of your risk management it will definitely help you to grow as a trader and make better returns one more thing guys we have planned a free webinar this month to give more insights regarding uh, trading and also we'll be teaching an intraday strategy which will help you guys to make more money for more details uh, please visit our website or call the concerned person to register your slot for the same it's happening in the month end uh, if you guys enjoyed my session uh, please like and comment and also mention if you want help in any specific topic regarding trading or risk management or psychology we can always post a video regarding the same thank you guys have a good trading day